साईराम स्टुडंट्स वेलकम टू द सेकेंड सेशन ऑफ चैप्टर सिक्स दैट इज एंगल्स सो चिल्ड्रन इन द लास्ट सेशन वी सॉ थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ एंगल्स दैट इज राइट एंगल अक्यूट एंगल एंड ऑप्ट्यूज एंगल सो राइट एंगल मीन्स इट इज ऑलवेज नाइंटी डिग्री एंड देन एक्यूट एंगल मीन्स इट इज ऑलवेज लेस देन नाइंटी डिग्री एंड ऑप्ट्यूज एंगल मीन्स इट इज मोर देन नाइंटी डिग्री राइट after that we saw children how to name an angle right and we also saw the vertex of the angle and the arms of the angle then we saw children how to use a protractor and measure the given angle angle was given and you were supposed to take the protractor and measure how much degree the angle is so now let's move to today's session so today children we are going to see how to draw an angle using a protractor of a particular degree right so in the last session children i had told you that the symbol for the angle is this right and we can write it as angle abc or angle cba other way around right so if you see abc and cba right in this both the common point is b right because the b is the point from which uh, the uh, two lines are uh, going right that is your arm bc and arm ba these are the arms of the angle so b is the common point so that's the reason we can write it as also angle b right so we can write it as angle abc or angle cba or you can write the common point which is there between abc and cba the middle letter that is your angle b so because b is the vertex or the common point of the angle now so first we'll start with problem set 25 measure the angles given below and write the measure given in the boxes so all these angles are given you are going to take a protractor and you are going to measure it and write it in the box so now children now here on the slide i cannot measure it so what i have done i have uh, drawn it on a notebook so we will take a protractor and measure what degree the angle is so we'll start measuring the angles uh, children so you can see the first figure seeing only you can tell that it's an acute angle right so what you will do you will take the protractor and you will keep it on the common point you can see the common point now keep the center of the protractor on the common point and you will measure it right from your left right hand side so 0 10 20 30 40 so it's a 40 degree angle so you will write it as 40 degree now move to the second figure seeing only you can identify that it's an obtuse angle right so again you will keep the center of the protractor at the common point and you will start counting it from your left hand side right so 180 170 like this how much it comes it will come to 120 degree so you will write it as 120 degree now moving to the third figure you can see and identify that it's a right angle but still we will measure it and see so you will keep the protractor center of the protractor at the common point which is joining both the lines and you can see that it is 90 degree right so you will write it as 90 degree now the last figure you can see it is an acute angle so what i have done i have turned the notebook so that it will be easy for us to measure it again keep the center of the protractor at the common point and start 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 it is between 80 to 90 so it is 85 so you will write it as 85 degree now children you are going to draw an angle of given measure means measurement is given and you have to draw it so draw angle abc of measure 70 degree so let's draw this angle 
and one more we are going to do draw angle PRQ of measure 80 degree right so when I am saying angle PRQ means R will be your common point right so RQ line you will draw and you will keep the protractor on the point common point R and then you will measure 80 degree and join the line right so children let's draw the angle of 70 degree first you will take a scale and with the help of a pencil you will draw a straight line once you have drawn the straight line you will name the two points as B and C make an arrow near the point C right so BC is your arm so now the center of the protractor you will keep it on point B and you will see that the line is lying on the arm BC now you will start from right hand side 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 so where 70 is written there you will make mark a point now you will join both these points after joining these points you will make an arrow and you will write this point A so now you will write at near the common point B as 70 degree. So you will write angle ABC is equal to 70 degree. Now we will draw an angle of 80 degree. So again you will follow the same procedure. First you will draw a line. Now you will name the two points as Q and R, right now you will keep the center of the protractor right on the point R because it is PRQ right so I have put it on R now I am going to draw the angle of 80 degrees so 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 so 80 there I have marked it now you will join both the points right and you will mark it as P right so near the you will write angle P R Q is equal to 80 degree right so near the point R also you will write it as 80 degree so children you can see you can draw the angles from on both the sides right so the 70 degree angle I have drawn from the left hand side and the 80 degree angle I have drawn from the right hand side. So you have to, uh, so both the ways is correct. It's not necessary that you have to draw the angle always from the left hand side. Only you have to see what is the common point and accordingly you can draw the angle, right? So you have to keep the protractor at the common point and you both the ways the angles are uh, same right so you can use any of these methods so now let's solve problem set 26 draw and name the following angles with the help of a protractor so you have to draw seven angles first one is 60 degree second is 120 degree third is 90 degree fourth is 150 degree fifth is 30 degree sixth is 165 degree and seventh is 45 degree so let's draw these angles so now first one is 60 degree let's draw the angle you will take a scale and with the help of a pencil you will first draw a straight line after drawing the straight line you will mark the two points as x and y now you will take the protractor keep the center of the protractor on point x and from your right hand side you will start counting from 0 so 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 so you will mark that point and you will join both the points and you will mark it as x as 60 degree and the third point as z so angle z x y is equal to 60 degree now second one is 120 degree 
so again same process first you will draw a straight line you will mark the two points as m and n you will keep the center of the protractor on point m now on your left hand side you will see where is 120 degree 180 170 160 150 140 130 120 120 you will mark the point at 120 now you will join both the lines and you will mark the third point as l so near m you will write it as 120 degree angle l m n is equal to 120 degree now third one is 90 degree again you will first draw a straight line mark the two points as e and f keep the center of the protractor on the point e and you can see 90 degree it is a straight one so you will join the point and you will write the third letter as d so you will write near e as 90 degree angle d e f is equal to 90 degree next one is 150 degree straight line first you will draw and you will mark the two points you will name it as i and j you will keep the center of the protractor on point i and from your left hand side you will see where is 150 degree 180 170 uh, 160 150 right so you will mark a point near 150 and you will join both the lines now you will name the third letter as h so near i you will write it as 150 degree and you will write angle h i j is equal to 150 degree next one you are going to draw an angle of 30 degree so draw a straight line mark the two points as r and s keep the center of the protractor on point r and 0 10 20 30 towards your right hand side you'll join both the dots or the points and you will name the third letter as t so near r you will write 30 degree and you will write angle p r s is equal to 30 degree next one is 165 degree again same process you will draw the straight line mark the two points as a and b keep the center of the protractor on point a and towards your left hand side you will see where is 165 so 180 170 and 160 so between 160 and 170 is the five angle right so 165 and you will join both the lines and you will write it as c so a is 165 degree so we'll write angle cab is equal to 165 degree last one is 45 degree again you will first make a straight line draw a straight line mark the two points as 
P and Q. Keep the center of the protractor on point P. And from your right hand side, you will start counting 0, 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. So between 40 and 50 is your 45 degree angle. So you will mark, uh, join both these points and mark the third point as R. So you will write near the point P as 45 degree angle RPQ is equal to 45 degree. So children as we saw the types of angles that is right angle. So you can see in the figure angle ABC it is the right angle. So angles of measure 90 degree are called as right angle. So if the definition is asked uh, define right angle you will write angles of measure 90 degree are called right angles. Next one is acute angle. So you can see RST angle RST it measures less than 90 degree that is it is less than the right angle right. So an angle which measures less than a right angle is called as an acute angle. So angle RST is an acute angle. So if the definition is asked you will write an angle which measures less than a right angle is called as the acute angle. And the last one is obtuse angle. So on the screen you can see angle LMN it measures more than 90 degree that it, it is more than the right angle. So an angle which measures more than a right angle is called as the obtuse angle. So angle LMN is an obtuse angle. So obtuse angle is more than the right angle that means more than 90 degree. So I hope students you have understood till this much how to draw the angle of the given measure right. And uh, if the angle is given, you can also uh, measure it and see how much degree it is. Also the definitions of all the three types of angles that is right angle, acute angle and obtuse angle. So in the next session, we will see children about the parallel and perpendicular lines. Till then, goodbye.